Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, I know I don't have to make a video, and this is, like, such a silly topic, um, but, um, I don't know. I'm just in a video-making mood. Um, deal with it. Uh, I, I apologize in advance. I swear I'm not purposely bunching this up. I, uh, am doing laundry right now because my other, um, tank tops are all dirty and I just showered. I got back home not too long ago from the gym and grocery shopping. Um, so I promise I'm not trying to like, you know, bunch this up and like make it look like I'm, I'm more buff, uh, than I am. Uh, just kind of how it does it. But I, I want to try to not make videos shirtless. Um, even if not much is shown, um, just as a sign of respect or consideration, I suppose. I personally don't mind. I don't really care. I mean, normally I'll walk around my apartment or wherever I live in, um, boxers. Uh, and my version of being clothed is having athletic shorts on top or over those, um, and that goes for like, you know, me bringing people home or yeah, if even if I've had like uh, work acquaintances come um, hang out with me on a day off, uh, I'll ask them, I'll ask them, of course, but I'll be like, uh, you cool if I just like, it just, I, I don't know, it's my place, I want to be as comfortable as I can, but I don't want to subject you guys to that same, um, <laughs> that same thing, but Anyways, um, I was thinking about making like a YouTube shorts when I got out of Walmart, um, but I decided not to, uh, cause I was giving it a little more thought and I think it would make like an interesting topic to talk about just briefly, not a lot. And, um, you know, please don't take this as me bitching, um, take it with a grain of salt. Um, I don't take this stuff super seriously, like, um, which I'm thankful for. I've, I've learned to really not let things like small things like this bother me, um, uh, and lead to anger. Um, especially since anger, uh, can be, uh, well, frustration, anger can certainly be a trigger in, um, emotion for a lot of people in terms of, uh, potential relapses or lapses. For me, it, it usually manifests more as anxiety, uh, at least in terms of the triggering event. So, so I'm not bitching. Sorry if it seems that way, but um, I, I'm just like mind blown. I, every day I'm like mind blown about how people like live in their own fucking worlds. I'm gonna come out and curse, I don't care. Um, People just like live in their own fucking worlds. Like, <laughs> are just completely oblivious out and about. Now, granted, I'm the same way, but in a different way, if that makes sense. Like, uh, for me, normally when I'm out and about, like grocery shopping and stuff, um, I don't care how I'm dressed. Um, I don't care what people think of me. Um, normally I'll put music in. Um, so my, um, you know, sounds, um, audio, uh, capabilities are diminished but um so so you know essentially being in my own world in terms of that but um but and I talk to myself too in the store I just like have conversations with myself about like oh this looks interesting or, well this has more cash back or whatever um no, hopefully it's not to a point where it annoys people it doesn't seem to but sometimes they give me weird looks um but um I, I guess the difference is is <sighs> with the like being oblivious or or in one's own world is um for me it's like I just don't care what other people think whereas um what bothers me is that people just um are either uh completely unaware of their behavior and how it's affecting everybody else or they are aware um uh, and they're just assholes <laughs> Um, and I'm sure, you know, it's not either or, it's not black or white. I'm sure there's a scale, like some people might be uh, aware of some of their behaviors, like people that, um, let their dogs go out and shit and just don't pick it up. Um, I'm sure there's some that like, just aren't paying attention and didn't realize the dog did it, but there's some that do and, and they, and they do have that self-awareness to be like, yeah, that's not cool, but I'm just an asshole. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry anyone watching this video that, um, you know, does that. But you kind of are. You know, you have to admit, you kind of are. 
Um, uh, <laughs> but there's worse things that one can do, though. So um, I guess it's not, you know, that terrible of a of a crime. Um, but um, yeah, or it's a combination, like I said, of just both. It's just like, I just don't understand, like... <sighs> So I guess, okay, enough like blabbering about it. I'll, I'll give like some concrete evidence, like what happened today and pretty much whatever happened. Right? It happens like every time I go grocery shopping, um, a few of these examples. But, um, well, I, I usually do the self-checkout, but I've actually been learning that sometimes the self-checkout, you would think it would be easier because it's like quicker, um, than, um, you know, like a cashier doing it because you're doing your own thing. Uh, but I've been finding out, like, it's actually faster, even if there's a line of, like, people in the cash register, like, for the cash register, uh, it's faster to just wait in that line than if there's a small line, uh, because people, like, just take the, they're, they're at, go at their own pace. They're, like, so casual. And, uh, I, will mention too i never say anything to anybody i don't like I, you know berate them or make passive aggressive comments um it just i guess is just like oh yeah that's why i'm kind of um another uh <laughs> example of why i'm just disappointed in humanity um or people as a as a general but um so yeah i don't i don't say anything in it um but uh it's just like they're just like go at the like even if they have like five items they just go at their own pace they're like oh yeah you know like you know put it in the bag or like oh well it's not quite right and like we'll dick around with the same item for like a minute or two minutes um where it's like bro just scan it put it in the fucking bag <laughs> scan the next one rinse and repeat and, um, but they just don't care. So I don't know if they're just not aware, like, hey, you know, um, and, and I don't expect everyone to rush, um, but I just don't know if they, they don't know they're taking up that much time or if they just, they just don't care. Um, but, um, yeah, it just bothers me. It's just like, you know, be, please be more considerate of people, of everyone else's time that's in the line. I mean, your, um, you know, ability to check out quickly or at least in a timely fashion uh, affects each person's uh, uh, time in, the, in that line. So it's like you're, you know, disrespecting not just one person's time, but a lot of people's time. But uh, there's that. And then also another thing is um, like self-checkout, you know, I get it because you're, you're doing your own groceries so you don't have time to prepare but some people still act uh it, it's when people act surprised that once everything's scanned whether they did it or a cash like um uh a cashier did it uh they just kind of stand there for a bit and they're like oh yeah that's right i have to pay for these <laughs> it's like you do this like you would think most people do this on a weekly basis, even a monthly basis, you know. Um, it's not people's first time buying groceries. It's like, why is that a surprise? Every single time it's a surprise to people. Oh, yeah, I have to pay. Or, you know, with the bus. Um, I guess this is just turning me into, uh, turning into me just bitching. Um People waiting for the bus. The bus finally comes up. You know, we've been waiting at the stop, me and a handful of people, for five minutes. Um, and the bus pulls up, and then people start walking in to go in. And then they start the process of going into their purse or going into their pocket to pull out their bus pass or pull out their money. It, it, like, <laughs> what were you expecting when the bus came? Were, were you just expecting to just walk on? Um, you know, it's like you've had five minutes to at least have your payment method out um or at least somewhat prepared uh and it's just like uh, yeah so it's just i don't know if people are just like a, a just don't care um about you know other people or just aren't don't realize like how silly that is um it's such a simple thing it's just have your money ready 
Um, <laughs> it's so stupid. I'm not sure if you guys can relate to this. I mean, please comment. Please let me know. I'm not the only person that's like notices these things. Um, I'm trying to think of other concrete examples. Um, but just people like, I don't know, I guess just like being aware of, of taking up um, their presence in being in a grocery aisle. You know, like some person will have their cart in like the literal meal, middle of the aisle and just kind of like be taking up the full, um, you know, because me, for example, I try to stick to just one side, um, both my cart and my body. So that way, you know, if someone's coming through, want to come through, they can just come through. You know, they don't have to like do this dance around my cart and then my dance around me. Um, it's just a sign of respect. Like, it's so simple. That should be a, a simple thing to respect one another, <laughs> respect my time. Um, I just, I don't get it. I don't understand. Um, I, I think I had some more examples that I was going to talk about, but it's just like talking about this is like making me a little, and again, like, I, you know, <laughs> This is such a petty thing. I don't get upset about it. I don't even really get frustrated about it. It just it just amazes me. Um, it just really blows my mind away that people are just... I guess the lack of efficiency for a lot of stuff in their life. Um, you know, especially, like, I guess uh, one other thing is, you know, if they're doing... They have a handful of tasks that they need to do. And... Um, this isn't necessarily in like a grocery store, but they have a handful of things to do. It's like, instead of like grouping those tasks into like clusters and like getting like two or three tasks done in one go around, they, they'll do them all like from the, um, from scratch, like every single one of them and just spend like an extra 20 minutes doing that. Um, let me drink some of my booch. Uh, uh, I don't know if I've said this really on camera or if you guys have seen it, but I love kombucha. Um, I wouldn't say I'm like a kombucha connoisseur or I partake in the consumption very frequently, but um, I do enjoy a good kombucha. I know this brand is like, it's probably like, oh, well, that's me. That's the mainstream brand. Like that's, you know, you gotta have like the real good, like, underground stuff uh <laughs> but, the, but i am i do like this brand and then this one is a mango passion fruit um really great i like it because it it is kind of similar to a beer in a way where it's you have that carbonation and a little bit of that fermentation flavor um granted it's it's quite different still but um yeah pretty good and uh, I'm struggling to come up with any more examples. I'm going to end the video here because it's so fucking humid today. Uh, even with my being showered and my windows open, um, I'm starting to get sweaty. And it's like the sweat that doesn't evaporate because it's so, so humid. So it's starting to like chafe and bother um, my skin, especially actually because I'm freshly clean. So that skin's like more sensitive. So... Um, maybe I'll make another video talking about more details or uh, examples of this, but hopefully you guys kind of know where I'm coming from and have ha had similar things. If you guys have, you know, like, please like the video, please comment, share your pet peeves when it comes to people, um, being in their own world. But, uh, yeah, I have to take this thing off and I need to turn this fan on. I, I need some airflow because I am, I am starting to get damp uh, i'm starting to get moist and I, i'm not a really big fan of that so um thank you guys for watching uh i'll see you guys next time